Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Whether you've been here before or this is your first time, welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you take just a quick second and click that subscribe button. That way you'll be the first to know when I upload a new tutorial. I'm so excited you're all here, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm working in Excel and I'm going to show you how to convert smart art into shapes. And then we're going to use those shapes to create some really neat and unique dashboards and reports. So I have two sheets within my workbook. I have my dashboard and then I have my data. Now I could really easily highlight my data, transform it into a chart and put it into my dashboard. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to show you how to use smart art to make yours a little bit more unique and stand out from everyone else's. So the first thing we want to do is from our dashboard, we want to go to insert and we could do a shape and pick something from there, but we're going to do smart art. And you can pick anything from this list that you want to use, but I'm going to go to process and I'm going to go to accent process and I'm going to tell it okay. And then it brings up a set of three text boxes. Okay, so I'm going to move these over here. Now we need eight because the top one is going to be our item and the bottom one is going to be our total. So we have eight items. So we need eight sets of these boxes and we only have three. So let's go ahead and do control A to select them all. And since we want to duplicate them, let's see what happens if we hit control D. Rather than put them out here, it's going to stack them on top of each other. And when we go to start moving them, it's going to be a mess. So let's hit control Z. And I'm going to make sure that they're all highlighted again. Now let's do control V. Now I don't know why Excel is acting like this, but it's putting all of your text bullets into one box instead of creating the new shapes. So I'm going to hit control Z one more time, I promise. <laughs> and then I'm going to control A to make sure I have them all selected. So I'm going to control C again. And now I'm going to control V, but I'm going to do it somewhere from within the box. Okay, so control V. And look what happened. It added three, but it also added the arrows and it put them all out to the right, which is what we want it to do. Now we need two more. So I'm going to go ahead and click out here and I'm just going to take two of them. I'm going to hit my control and I'm going to highlight two sets. Now you don't have to do your arrow because it's going to carry that arrow over for you. Control C, click in here, Control V. And now we have eight, which is what we need. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to reduce the size of our border because we don't need it. And if we try to move this anywhere, it's going to be really hard to work with. So I'm going to just go ahead and reduce this border down so I can see it. Okay, then I'm going to move it all the way to the left or wherever I want it. Now we're going to increase the size of all of these text boxes. Now rather than having to go into each text box and increase it, we're going to increase the size of our border, which is going to increase the text boxes. So what we're going to do is make sure that we've got our border selected, right click, and we're going to go to size and properties. And we're going to scale our height and width. And I'm going to do say 200 by 200. And I'm going to X out of here and see where this gets us. So that looks pretty good. And you may have to play with yours because it's going to depend on the size of your actual dashboard. If you need to increase the size of your dashboard, you can do that. If you need to decrease your text and people can still see it, you can do that. But if it's still kind of small, don't hesitate to increase the size of your dashboard. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the color because these all look the same. They're all blue, they're all white. So if we go up here to change color, and we have different ones that we can do, but I'm just gonna pick this first one. And now we've created eight smart art boxes. Now, we're going to reference data from our data sheet here, but you cannot reference data to smart art. If I were to click on one of these and go up here, I can't do anything. 
If I go to this one and go up here, I can't do anything. So this is where we're going to have to convert them to shapes. And to do that, we're going to click on the border and right click, and it's easy, convert to shapes. And now if you see what we had in there, like we had text, then it had a bullet point text, that's gone. So now we know that they have been successfully converted. And now we can start referencing data in our other sheet to pull it over here into our shapes. So this is, we said the top was going to be our item. So what we will do is we will go here to our function bar and we will do equals. We will go over to our data, click on apples, enter. We have apples. We'll go down here, come up here and do equals. Go over to our data, click here, enter. And you may have to adjust your boxes. Go to this one and do equals, cherries, enter. Go here, equals, data, cherries, enter. And we're going to keep doing that for the rest of these shapes. And now we have all of our data referenced from our other sheet. And as we make changes, let's say we change watermelon to, oh, I don't know, pears. Hit enter. It changes it in your dashboard. Let me go ahead and put this back. Okay, now there's one thing I do want to show you. You may want to ungroup these, because right now they're grouped. Once you create your shapes, they're grouped. And you may want to ungroup them. And the reason being is if you go to do any kind of word art styles or anything, it's going to change all of them. To where if you wanted to do something individually to them, if you right click here, you go to group, you go to ungroup, and say you just pick that one, then it only affects that one. And that is how you convert smart art to shapes to make unique and different dashboards and reports. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.